Hello friends, it's me, and today, Mr. Beast old videos. Let's check out what is quoting and why he did from Mr. Beast. Together, let's go. What? So, rock, paper, scissors, I choose paper. What's up guys, how's it going? I might say- What's up Mr. Beast? Hi Mr. Beast. I sound a little tired in this video, it's a little early in the morning, but I recently saw a video on swatting, and so I decided I was going to talk about it and just give my opinions on it. Now, in case by some chance you don't know what swatting is, it's when a, a hacker, I guess, I don't really know if you even have to be a hacker, but you dock someone to get their personal information, You pretty much you get someone's address. So say you get a Twitch streamer's address, and then you call the police and you say something like this, I have two people as hostage and I'm going to put a bullet in their head and then you give the address to the streamer and then you know the SWAT team shows up at that streamer's house they think he has a hostage or two hostages you know whatever and that he's threatening to kill him so they're going to show up in full body gear there's going to be like 10 to 15 cops there and it's going to be some serious stuff. Now there are many reasons why I despise SWATting. Some of them are just you know you're wasting the SWAT team's time. I mean like I said they send over 10 people most of the time. I mean they could be back at the office doing paperwork. Um, um, they could be stopping crime somewhere else. You're going to force them to get home later possibly because they're dealing with this bullcrap, this fake scenario you're putting out there. And you're just wasting a lot of people's time. That's one reason I hate it. Another reason is you're defacing someone's property. I mean, most of the time these SWAT teams, they kick in doors. They mess up the stuff inside the house. I mean, this, that's, you know, that's just rude. Third reason why I hate it is usually when they kick in a door and they're running in your house, they're pointing their gun right at you. And uh, one of the reasons I... That's like, I'm talking about this right now, sorry about how much I just stuttered, but I saw a video of a Twitch streamer who got swatted, and there were, when the cops kicked in the door, two of the police people, or two of the SWAT members, were pointing guns at his daughter, and he started to cry, and then he made a video about it later on, um, like... Imagine you having a daughter and then two guys, you know, bursting in through your front door, pointing guns at your daughter. I mean, A, that's going to affect her the rest of her life. And B, that's just, that that's dumb. I mean, there's no, there's, that's not called for to have people pointing guns at a little girl. And there's always an off chance that a cop might accidentally, you know, accidentally pull the trigger and kill someone. It's just, there's a lot of reasons why I don't like swatting. And those are some of the biggest ones. Now, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. From a YouTuber standpoint, although no one will ever admit it, swatting's actually good for their channel. And what I mean is, you know, you get swatted, well, you get mentioned on Drama Alert, you know, it'll blow up on Twitter, you can make a video talking about it, and even if you're not dramatized, just act a little bit dramatized, and that video will go viral, um, and then you'll gain, you know, 30,000 subs from being mentioned on Drama Alert, and all this other attention. It is healthy for a channel. Now, I'm not saying swatting's a good thing in any way, I'm just saying, YouTube channel-wise, it will help you grow if you do get swatted. So, what I, the reason I bring that up is, you know, these people who swat, they do it because they hate the person and they're trying to hurt them. But in reality, you're just helping their channel get bigger and stuff. So, I mean, sometimes it doesn't even make sense to swat anyone, like to go through all that trouble because in the end, you're just going to make them more popular and help them get their name more out there by swatting them. So to wrap this video up, I'm all for pranking people. I'm all for, you know, having fun and making, you know, pranks on YouTube, but I will never be for swatting. I feel like it's unnecessary and it's just way too over the top. You're putting people's lives at risk. You're wasting a dozen SWAT members' time and you're defacing someone's home. It's just, it's uncalled for and I'll never think it's funny. So that's pretty much the video. Let me know what you think. Give me your opinions on it. And uh, oh, well, something else I wanted to mention is if someone ever does, call, you know, call the SWAT team and get caught for swatting, I hope they just, I hope they go to jail for a long time, like a year plus, just just for making that one prank call. I mean, I hope the punishment for getting caught trying to SWAT someone, I hope that's pretty severe. But uh, anyways, that's the video. Let me know what you think and give me your opinions on it. No exception to the rule, do what you do to get by, cause I keep sticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh, that clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Bad actors. <laughs> Subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.